Bringing the people behind our food to life. This event is to bring together plant breeders, seed growers, farm, fresh market farmers, chefs, retailers, wholesalers, other people in the, the food community here to talk about what they want in vegetables. All tables are organized for different vegetables and each vegetable table has a chef that's in our, uh, in our Portland um, culinary community and has been working with the Culinary Breeding Network has taken one of the multiple varieties that we have grown and they are preparing a special dish from that. This man right here, he grew these um, and I was given a large bag of them and I tried a couple different variations on it and this is what I settled on here. Roasted them in a 550 degree oven for about 10 minutes. The texture on them at that point is slightly dry, but that allowed for the vinaigrette with the mustard, red wine vinegar, bacon fat and olive oil to really absorb into the potato. I feel like it turned out well. The other half of the table is either a variety tasting. This is Kyosha from Uprising Seeds. This is Badger Flame from the University of Wisconsin and Irwin Goldman. Touchstone from Johnny Selected Seeds. This is Siraz from Uprising Seeds. And then other tables, so like for the, uh, the tomatoes and the peppers, are breeding populations. So these are not final varieties. The conversation isn't done. It's not finished yet. What we're asking people to do here is to look at all the different phenotypes, and a phenotype is the appearance, the shape, the color, the size. Which one do you like? With the mild habaneros, which one do you like the best? Where should I go from here? So that really, really helps to guide the breeder. It's always really exciting to get uh, your work viewed from different perspectives, to have people show you new insights. So this is a, a habanero pepper. I am really excited about this one. This was something I developed as part of my PhD at Cornell. And is a pepper that has the heat level really kept at a certain level. Um, so it's very, very mild. Most people wouldn't find any heat to it at all. But we've done it in such a way you still get all the hot pepper flavor. One of the joys of having, of creating new vegetable variety is uh, you get to name it. So I'm rather fond of my Spanglaise, so the habanero with no capsaicin became the habanada. You know, I personally would love to see this, uh, you know, every household in America be growing or buying these, but we'll have to see, see how it grows. Their new flavors don't necessarily get embraced overnight. When you sit here and you can taste through seven different varieties of pepper and 12 varieties of onion and 15 varieties of tomato in one small venue, I think that really speaks to the range of, of palate. You know, I call it like palate discovery. Like when people, when, when your palate wakes up for the first time and you can actually start to discern different flavors, there's something really intense and, and profound I think that happens for people where they, they have their taste buds are suddenly awake. An event like this in a larger format could be really exciting, um, where you get to have showcase, you know, showcase the farmer, showcase the chef, but ultimately showcase the breeder because that's the story that I don't think people really understand. I'm really clear on the fact, like, I don't want this to be about what the chefs need. This is about what people should want. The the, the public, hopefully, through through the efforts of all the chefs and the restaurant culture that's emerged in the last 10, 15 years will hopefully be a more discerning palette, collectively. And I think it's, it's going to be that same thing that happens when so many people, if they go to like Europe and they taste cheese for the first time in Europe, unpasteurized cheese, oh, you know, they have these like epiphany moments. I think if we can get people to have those with fruits and vegetables, especially children, uh, you know, the future of the American food scene is going to not only shift, but it's going to shift in a really profound way.